creating your first simple report. The foundation of Visenda's usefulness starts with the ability to create ad hoc reports quickly without a deep understanding of data or query language. For our easy to use simple report designer, we can demonstrate this. This example will walk through the construction of a basic report and explain some key concepts and functionality that a simple user would encounter while building their first report. For a user to run in simple mode, their role would need to have the simple data sources option selected on the permissions tab of role setup. This way, the user will have a more streamlined experience when selecting data sources for report building purposes. When I select data sources as a simple user, the number of options will shrink down to only display those data sources that have relationships with what was selected. I can see those joins in the relationship panel to the right. Once I have selected everything I want to report against, I can move on to the fields tab. There are a number of different report parts that can be constructed in the report designer. These include various charts, grids, gauges, maps, and pixel-perfect forms. In this case, our user has been given access to manipulate only the grid and chart visualizations. As these are two of the more simple visualizations to construct, it is appropriate for a less experienced user to only have access to building these two types of report parts. Selecting grid will flip over the tile to occupy the entire design real estate. Now, drop points will appear for data objects to be dragged and dropped into. Clicking on one of these fields opens up a Fields Properties tab. This is where various styling changes could be made to the report. There are a variety of alterations to choose from, including anything from aliasing the field names, to managing the function the field is being calculated with, or adjusting the format that the field is being shown in. Selecting the Report Part Properties tab allows for adjusting the type of grid or altering the styling option similar to what we saw in the Field Properties tab. Once the user is satisfied with the report part they've created, the report part tile menu can be used to transition back to the report design real estate to construct additional report parts. This menu also has other useful options like allowing the user to take a report part into full screen, make a copy of an individual report part, rename, delete, or flip a report part to either its configuration or preview mode. To move back to the design real estate, the user would select the switch button. Building a chart contains much of the same functionality covered while talking about grids, including changing the type of chart to various visualizations or managing cell level customizations. Filters can also be added quickly through the report designer by simply dropping the desired field into the filter area and choosing the desired selection mechanism. Then, the filter can be manipulated to change the output of the report. Once the report meets specifications, there is additional functionality for saving and sharing the report. Make sure to use the Update Results button prior to saving your report. After the report has been saved, it can be opened in the Report Viewer by navigating to the Report List and selecting the report, or viewed straight from this screen using the Preview option. For this example, we're going to navigate to the Report List to find our newly constructed report. Azenda's Simple Report Builder aims to make creating ad hoc reports an intuitive, manageable experience for less technical users. For a more advanced look at Izenda's report builder functionality, please watch the Create Your First Advanced Report video for more details.